Hey guys, my name is Willow Hand, and right now we are on my farm in Nashville, Tennessee, and I am so excited because this morning I finally got the phone call that I've been waiting on for over a month now. So right around a month ago, I flew to London and I started the search for my dream horse. So ever since I've been a little girl, it's been a dream of mine to have a horse from Europe and I just finally made that a reality. We went over and I spent five days driving through the English countryside, trying all different baby horses, and I rode over 18 horses, I believe. Um, and there was just one that really stood out and caught my interest, and his name is Santiago. So he was actually, it's kind of a crazy story, he was actually the first horse that I tried. I flew into London, and I was so jet lagged and tired and I went straight to his farm cause he was my favorite on the list from the beginning. But I went straight to his farm and I rode him and met him for the first time. And I just thought to myself, am I exhausted or was that horse amazing? Because we just clicked and connected right away. He is a show jumper and he jumps like a beast. He absolutely loves to jump. But a lot of times when horses really love to jump, they get a little bit crazy and a little bit out of control as well. But he has such a great personality that he's such an angel and so much fun to be around. So I went around, after I tried him, I tried 18 other horses, drove all the way up to the north of England, all the way up past Manchester. We went to Wales, we drove all over the place seeing all these beautiful baby horses. But in the end, Santiago was the one who stole my heart. So we went and I purchased him and we've been going through the importation process for about a month now. And it's kind of a crazy process to bring a horse from Europe over to America. There's a lot of different steps and quarantines. And because of Brexit, he actually had to go through quarantine to go from the UK over to Belgium which is where the horses fly from. So he had to get imported from the UK to Europe to then be imported back to America. So just a couple of days ago, he landed in New York and um, I am so excited. So once they land in New York, um, they go through another quarantine process. So he's been in New York for three days now. And this morning I finally got the phone call that he is released from quarantine and he's on his way to the farm. So that's so exciting. A lot of things can go wrong in the quarantine process. Obviously, if they find out that he has any sort of illness or health problems, then they can hold him in quarantine for longer. So this is just the best case scenario. And I'm so, so, so excited for him to get here and to introduce him to you. So. I am going to be dying all day. I'm going to a winery right now to try to distract myself with some friends because he's not gonna be here until 2.30 in the morning. So I'm just gonna be going crazy all day pretty much until he gets here. Um, but I am so excited. So I'm gonna go to the winery. I'll be back in a couple of hours and then I'm going to get his stall ready and get the barn ready for his arrival. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and then we'll get to meet him. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so I just got back from the winery now. It is about six o'clock and it is go time. So I just talked to the shipper and he's gonna be here sometime between around two and 2.30 a.m. So we have a little bit of time now. Um, his soul is gonna be right back here and I'm gonna go put the fin finishing touches on. I'm gonna get his hay ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put his bedding down and get his water in there and get everything ready so as soon as he arrives, he can just be settled right in and take a nap because I'm sure it's been a long day for him being on the road for this long. It's about a 14 hour drive from New York down to the farm here. So he's gonna need to get some rest so that he will be happy and healthy and ready to go tomorrow. Um, but I am just so excited so Let's go get his stall ready with me. And then the plan is I'm gonna take a little bit of a nap. Um, I'm trying to get all the stuff done here as quickly as possible. So I can go take a little nap so that then when he gets here, I can wake back up and I'll be ready to get him settled and ready to enjoy the evening with him. Make sure that he, you know, did the journey all right. So let's go get his stall ready. So this is Santiago's stall. And we've been out here working pretty much every day this week, putting these black rubber mats down, and that's just gonna keep the dust down and make it really nice and comfortable in there for him. So I've got the first load of hay here, 
And I'm gonna go ahead and dump that all the way in the back there. And we're gonna make him a nice cozy little bed that he can sleep in as soon as he gets in from the drive. There we go. And I'm gonna grab a few loads of this before I start smoothing it all out. We've got the second batch here. And I'm gonna go ahead and dump this and then I'm gonna see how much we need more. I think we might be good after this actually. It's quite a bit of hay that we're putting in here. So two loads is actually looking really good back there. I don't think I'm gonna put a third one in. It's about six inches to a foot deep and it's in the corner back there. Makes him a nice cozy little bed that he can go snuggle right into when he gets here. So I think we're gonna go move on to hay for him to eat and getting his automatic water set up. Whew. I've got his hay net stuffed and ready here. This is good hay for him to eat when he gets in. So. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this. I just put like a little carabiner clip on it. And then I have a little rack right up here that it hangs right on. So keeps his feet from getting tangled in the net and keeps it at a good height for him. Now it's secure. And we can just toss it right up there. And clip it in. And now it's ready. So his stall is pretty much set up now. I've got his automatic water running. I'll turn the fan on right when he gets here so that it doesn't kick up too much dust in the meantime, but I think that we are all set up and ready to go for him. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna have some dinner and take a little bit of a nap and I will come back when we have word that he's getting close. Okay, so I just woke up and I'm back out at the barn. It's now 1.45 and he's gonna be here any minute. I am just dying. I cannot wait another second. I feel like I'm going to explode. So I really hope he gets here soon. So let's just wait and see. <laughs> amazing he's super shiny and healthy doesn't look like he lost too much weight on the journey so that's really good and he's settling in really nicely he's very convinced that there's definitely still some food in that bucket even though there isn't um, he's been having a little bit of a party in the stall he's been playing in the water and splashing around and just having a good time so tomorrow morning we're gonna introduce him to the pasture for the first time and show him the rest of the farm but Thank you so much for watching and make sure you go ahead and subscribe to see some more content. <laughs>